Howdy, y'all. We don't earn history, all right. We're the first goddamn team to be caught cheating in a World Series. Well, hello. Once again, as you can see, I'm wearing the uniform of the 2017 World Series champion. So, like I was saying, I am wearing the uniform of the 2017 World Series Champions. But I'm not here to just lollygag and make fun of those cheaters. No. On the contrary, I am here to open up some more baseball cards for you. So let's do it. Uh, this is Tops. Baseball 2019 Series 2. This will probably be the, my last box that I'm going to get from the year 2019. Uh, the baseball season is about to start. You know, uh, pitchers and catchers report in like less than 30 days already. It's about to start. Can you feel it? Yeah, baseball season. It's coming at you much sooner rather than later. But uh, these baseball cards are about to be open. But sooner rather than later. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anywho. God, I hope that sketch was worth it. Fuck the Astros. Fucking cheaters. Speaking of which, we have a special guest right now. Uh, say hello to Manny Fernandez. Now, for a long time, this was the only player that bit played for both the Dodgers and the Red Sox to have cheated fans out, Dodger fans out specifically. Well, we no longer had to worry about that. Fuck Alex Cora. Fuck Boston altogether, man. Anyway, let's leave you right here. So, as always, uh, I'm pretty sure this was like the other box I opened up. Um, it's going to be uh, seven 14 card packs plus one exclusive 150 years of professional baseball patch card. So, yeah. Ooh, is this a poster? Whoa, look at this. Stadium Club. $1 off Stadium Club. Might be useful. Something. And yes, I keep looking over there because that's my monitor. That's like what we pointed out. Whoa, look at this. It's all in green now. So, boom. Boom, shakalaka. One exclusive 150 years of professional baseball uh, patch card. So, as always, the Redix, the patches, they always go last. And here are the seven packs. So, are you excited? I know I am. So let's open up pack number one. Travis, Travis Jankowski. Lighting is a bit bright. Let me see if I can adjust it a bit. Jeffrey Springs. Evan Longoria. Uh, yeah. Fuck the Giants. Diego Castillo. Hey, great pitcher, man. Uh, probably, probably would have beaten the Red Sox. Tampa Bay Rays, man. I so wanted them to beat the fucking cheating ass Astros. Would have been great. Roman Quinn. Hey, look at this. Aaron Judge. What? Uh, let me see. I guess it's like an Aaron Judge highlights card. Yeah. So I guess he gets like highlights. Uh, it says back here a two run homer against the Orioles. 
you know, who can score a two-run homer against the Orioles? I could probably score a two-run homer against the Orioles. Uh, on April 29, 2017, gave Aaron 10 round trippers in April, something only Jose Abreu and Trevor Story had accomplished in their rookie seasons. Okay. Uh, Roberto Osuna. Hmm. Uh, decent pitcher. Uh, better music artist. Taylor Davis. He's related to Chris Davis. Oh, <laughs> no. And Jin Ryu, who, uh, who no longer is a Dodger. Um, he signed with the Toronto Blue Jays. <sighs> Could have had it all, Ryu. Could have retired your jersey. Now, the, now I think the most recognizable 99 will be this guy again. Oh, Manny Wood. Okay. Eduardo Escobar. <sighs> David Freeze, man. Hated, hated you. Hated you as a youngster. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're a decent player in Dodger Blue. I wish we could have gave you another ring. Um, but, yeah. Chris Devensky. Mike Montgomery, uh, yeah, Cubs pitcher. I think we beat him. I think he was the only pitcher that beat us during the NLCS 20, uh, 2017, if I remember correctly. Which, uh, by the way, uh, if you were to tell me which is my favorite uh, like Dodger series in recent memory. I gotta say, my favorite Dodgers series would probably be the 2018 NLCS against the Brewers. That was such a great series. And I know we went on to win the World Series that year, but still, it was my favorite series. And, I, and if you were to ask me what was my second favorite series, I would say it's the 2017 NLCS against the Cubs. Even though we went on to win the World Series that year. Pack number two, obviously my favorite card from pack number one is uh, Ryu. Really, really gonna miss you, Ryu. Despite you like taking like two years off of like your five-year contract or something. John Gant of the St. Louis Cardinals. And yeah, Cardinal pitchers, never like them. They all suck. Lance Lynn. It's not too bright. I'm hoping it's not too bright, but still. Yoan Moncada. Moncada. Uh, I'm trying to adjust this. There you go. I think that's better. Yoan Moncada. Uh, Tucker Barnhart. Francisco Chance, and uh, he wants you to show him, him your thong to thong thong thong. Ernie Banks, franchise feats. Ernie Banks, great Cubs player. I never saw him play as a kid because he was already retired by then. But yeah, uh, led the majors in victories with 307. 387 since 2015. Wow. Yeah. Wait, what? Own modern season win percentage. I guess they're not talking about Ernie Banks. They're just talking about the Cubs. What the fuck? I wanted to have highlights of Ernie Banks, not the Cubs organization themselves. Hey, here's a highlight for you. How about not winning a World Series in over 100 years? Yeah, that happened. Eric Thames or Thing, the Thames. I don't know, man. I'm going by. I don't know. Maybe he's British and he prefers Thames because that's how they call their river, which never made any sense to me because it's Thames. But whatever. I'm a walkie boy. Jimmy Yacabonis. Yacabonis. Yeah, man. Yacabonis. 
Wilson Ramos, New York Mets. Ian Hack, Ian Hack. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. <laughs> Matt Kemp, who should have retired a Dodger. We had a chance to retire, like, have him retire as a Dodger. And we just gave him away for fucking Homer Bailey. Why? Why? Christopher Negron. Okay, so, yeah, great, great fucking player, man. We traded for him midseason, and he came through. Um, I don't think he played any, uh, any NLC, uh, I don't think he played any, uh, NLDS games, unfortunately, and he should have played fucking NLDS much fucking better than, uh, fucking Pollock. I don't know why the fuck we had Pollock out there, not Negron. Fucking Negron would have probably won us a series. Probably would have won us a fucking World Series, you know, we probably could have been a three-time consecutive World Series champion. Ryan Presley and Matt Moore. favorite card from here would have been Ernie Banks if they would have fucking talked about Ernie Banks and not the Cubs so I gotta go with uh, Kemp hey all the former Dodgers are winning these packs all of a sudden okay so pack number three Joe Ross Washington National, David Fletcher, Dakota Hudson rookie. Oh, and also David Fletcher rookie. I'm not noticing. Carl Edwards Jr., which sounds like a fast food restaurant. Ah, Brandon Woodruff. Ah, we kicked your ass in 2018. Corey Knebel. We didn't kick your ass in 2018, but we would have kicked your ass if it would have been you guys instead of the Nationals. Francisco Mejia. San Diego Padre. Poor guy. Eduardo Nunes. Yeah, so, first of all, fuck this guy. Uh, second of all, I remember when we did that homer against you, you know, in that World Series that we should have won because you guys are fucking cheaters. I remember when, uh, Puig hit that fucking, uh, fucking home run. Just threw his glove on the fucking floor. Hey, check this out, check this out. Randy Johnson. And I guess it's an Expos cards, because I think, uh, this set, uh, they said, um, it had, it's gonna have, like, a Expo, like, Montreal Expos cards, like, because it's, like, the 25th anniversary of them, uh, like, I guess, uh, like, they would have won that World Series in 1994 if it wasn't for the strike. But, yeah, Randy Johnson was uh, one of their pitchers. And I think later on he went to the Mariners. And then he went to, I don't know what other team, but he wound up being in the the Arizona Diamondbacks. And uh, and he prevented New York from uh, gloating and winning a World Series title during 9-11. So, good for him. Uh, and he has, like, the, the coolest nickname ever because literally, like, his first name... His last name and his uh, and his nickname is all phallic symbolism. It's Randy, the big unit, Johnson. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think he might be my favorite card so far. Ronnie Austin. Jace Ferry. Whoa. Vince Velasquez. And uh, Tony Camp. No relation to Matt. And get up, Molina and Marcel celebrate. Uh, yeah, definitely. Fucking Randy, the big unit, just wins this pack. Might even end up winning the whole box, man. How could you compare to Randy, big unit <laughs> Johnson? <laughs> uh, ah, so we already to pack number four after pack number four uh that'll be halftime intermission i suppose
Kendris Morales. Kevin Pillar. Wait, wasn't he a fucking Red Sox? Not a Red Sox, a Giant. Did he get traded? Oh, he got traded. Chaz Rowe. Marco Gonzalez. <laughs> Kansas City Royals. 50th anniversary. They did win a world championship recently, but uh, who would live in Kansas, really? Right? Who would choose to live in Kansas? Otani gets hot. As you can see, that's in uh, Japanese letters. And, uh, and like fire is squirting out from like the background of Angel Stadium. Uh, yeah. Okay. Boo! So, Andrew Benintendi, another cheater. I should have brought out my trash cans. I could just throw them all in. Wait, what the fuck? So, look. So, uh... Okay, so visit tops.com promotions, enter the code below, choose a game you think your player will hit a home run. If he does, you win a grand you win a prize and are entered into the grand prize drawing for a chance to win a trip to the twenty twenty home run derby, which would be in fucking Dodger Stadium. But uh does it consistent already? I might have to sort of look into this. Cause that could be my only way to actually make it to the to the fucking all-star game in the world and the home run derby in Dodger Stadium because us diehards here, we're getting priced out. So the Astros, Miles Straw, a rookie card, and it has like a 35 thing patch. Man, I wish I would have had my trash can so I could just throw it in the trash. Fucking cheaters. Actually, no, his rookie card, so he wasn't part of the cheating somewhat. Greg Allen. Jace Peterson. Jason Vargas. Chris Shaw. And a rookie. Rookie card. Someone that's not a rookie, Andrew McCutcheon. Who is now a Yankee. Right? Yeah, I think he. And Andrew Triggs. Hey, Oakland. Who should have won the NL West these last few years. So, it's halftime. It's almost intermission. Uh, I guess I'm going to wear the cap of the 2018 World Series champions. You know what? Something seems off. I'm off the tag it. There you go. Here's the cap of the 2018 World Series champions. And we're going on to pack number five. Victor Robles. Oh, wait. Uh, my favorite card from this pack would probably be... Shit, if, if it's valid, the home run derby. If it's not, then uh, probably say probably say the Kansas City Royals one. Just because really, who would really want to choose to live in Kansas? <laughs> Victor Robles, Eric Lauer, Steven Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez. See, there's a there's a V in there. Um, the Chase Field of the Arizona Diamondbacks, um, they hosted the Royal Rumble this year, um, 2019, I mean, they hosted the Royal Rumble in 2019. 2020 will take place at Minute Maid Park, and I highly suggest to all the wrestlers that they check to see that there's not a camera in center field. Ah, Cleveland Indians, progressive field, but... Come on, we all know the real name. It's the Jake. 
Chris Owings, uh, 150 years tops baseball card. Uh, what's so special about it though? Nothing. It just has a thing. Hey, look that that fucking Aaron Judge card again. Oh wait, but I guess the highlight is different. Aaron's batting line over 27 games with the Yankees in 2016 might not have been reflected it, but he was stringing the ball consistently. His average exit velocity that season was a robust 95.5 miles per hour. Among players with at least 40 batted ball events, that ranked second only to Nelson Cruz in the MLB. And they're in Ciarte. But fuck, man. I fucking love those uh, those retro Atlanta Braves jerseys. You know, um, that's like the Hank Aaron era jersey. So. Ronald Torres. Yoshihisa Hirano. Yoshihish, Yoshihisa Hirano. From the Arizona Diamondbacks. Do not make me say that name again, please. <laughs> Speaking of hard names, Ejire Adrianza. Ejire? Ejire? What is this? A, a job search website or something? Ejire Adrianza. Jacoby Jones, Brock Holt, Brock Holt, and Daniel Norris. So, my favorite card out of this one would probably be, probably, probably be, yeah, let's go with the E-Hire, man, because uh, that uh, job search online, you know, you need a, Make your own resume, put it on e-hire, and find the job opportunities. Just be emailed to you. Uh, okay, so pack number six. Pack number six. Okay. Kion Kayla. Kion Kayla. Reese McGuire, Sam Dyson, wow, look how green the grass, in, grass is on this guy's card, it's a rookie card too, Bryce Wilson, Sandy Alcantara, Al Kaline from Detroit. Uh, franchise feats for the Detroit Tigers is four World Series titles. That's four more than the Detroit Lions have Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl rings. Uh, they have won their first game 14 13 after trailing 13 4 in the ninth. Wow. 27 Hall of Famers and started 35 5 in 1984. Yes. And if I remember correctly, they did not end up winning that World Series. They did have won it the year before, though. Or something like that. Hey, man, I was negative 6 at that age, okay? Oh, wait, did I say negative 6? I meant negative 16. Yeah. Austin Meadows. <laughs> I'm laughing at the next card down, because it's, cause it's Albert Pujols. And let me tell you something about Albert Pujols. He is, uh, if you follow stats... He is a uh, pace by pace, um, the slowest man in baseball right now. Like literally, he, if when it takes when he does a base hit and he runs to first base, there is no one slower than him currently in baseball. It's just old man Albert Pujols, who, who at this point, <sighs> yeah, I'll let him play. Miguel Rojas. Hmm. Wasn't he with the Dodgers? Yes, he was. Miguel Rojas. He was uh, 2014 with the Dodgers. That was his last season. And he went to the Marlins. John Hicks. I'm 
Curis Familia. Brian Johnson. Bobby Pointer. Come on. Bobby Pointer. There's also a rookie. And Troy Tulowitzki. Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah, that's a that's a New York sounding name. Tulowitzki. Officer Tulowitzki. Uh, final pack. Final pack. Oh, and a favorite card from this. I would want to go with... Fuck it. Pools. Because, who knows, this might be the, like, the last time he appears in baseball cards. Because he might retire soon. Whatever. Steven Tarpley. Ben Gamble, man. And I gotta say, like, this yellow background, it kind of reminds me of, like, those old, uh, those old 90s, like, 90s baseball cards that would, like, have just, like, the cut out of the player, like, on a yellow or, like, a red background, like, single color background. So. Am I aging myself? I'm aging myself, aren't I? Dang, that's a plane. Tyler O'Neill. Jacob Faria. Ryan Shaw. Who won a few titles with the Lakers back in the 2000s. Dustin Pedroia. There he is. Uh, just trying to get like good Wi-Fi reception so they could cheat. Eddie Murray. From the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah. 150 years. Uh, greatest players. Yes, he was. He was a great player. He's also a former Dodger. Uh, he's actually a hometown boy. He uh, uh, he grew up in Los Angeles. Um, and, he re -sign and he signed with the Dodgers uh, near the twilight of his career. Now, uh, he wasn't that much of an impact player, but hey, it's the thought that counts, right? Gary V's top entrepreneurs in baseball. Fuck. Trevor May of the Minnesota Twins. <laughs> I love this back, man. This back is so fucking retro. George Lopez, who, uh, who I guess had to resort to pitching once, uh, once Conan O'Brien took a show. Austin wins or Austin wines. Tyler White, who, who, you know what, you probably weren't on the team, but fuck you too. You remind me of Brian McCann. J.A. Happ. Christian Vasquez. And Anthony Descalfani. You, you know he would be like a first round pick if the Brooklyn Dodgers still were in Brooklyn. But, because, uh, you know, Italian and all. Anywho, uh, my favorite card from this pack has got to be. Hmm, Ryan Shaw, man. Just so many great memories running the triangle, you know, under Coach Jackson, winning titles. But of course, my favorite card out of all these packs. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Ryu. You probably would have won. You probably would have won this cons like, like uh, undisputedly. But he left us. So the big unit, the big unit wins this time. Now for the main event. We shall open up this patch card. What could it possibly be? Or who could it possibly be? 
Oh my god. Aaron freaking Judge. Not fucking bad. Not fucking bad. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, it should have been a daughter. <laughs> you know, since we kind of did win two World Series in a row. But, uh, anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I had fun making it. I had fun uh, preparing my little skit at the beginning, uh, setting everything up. Uh, I had fun opening these card packs. Um, and if you were to check the background, you could probably catch a glimpse of my next card opening video somewhere. That could be a chance of it. Somewhere there. Somewhere there. But anywho, other than that, thank you again for sticking around, for watching me open cards, and just leave like my little uh, weird commentary on them. Uh, you know, peace and love as always. You guys take care. Um, I'll see you when I see you the next time. And have fun, you know, have fun. And, uh, I don't know how to end this video. So, late. Ah, oh, damn it.